Welcome, everybody, to All About Articulation, where we do a deeper dive into the articulation of some of your favorite action figures while glossing over things like sculpt, paint apps, character history, accessories, because I suck at that, and there are already so many great reviews on YouTube who do that already, so I don't want to waste your time, and time is a terrible thing to waste. Today, we have the, alright, I want to get this right, the GW Toys, that's the manufacturer, and this is the G001, the G001 body. It is a uh, body um, unpainted uh, for customizing, yeah, for painting, for, for doing whatever the hell you want to do. Uh, um, I've been getting in, into a lot of these, <coughs> excuse me, custom bodies, because generally the articulation is great. Um, the Rolls Royce of the class for me has been the V Toys Zero Body. I love this body. I don't think I did a review on this, but there's so many reviews on already that you can watch on YouTube and online. Uh, this is the gold standard to me. Uh, does this one come close? Does this one compare? They're about the same price, about twenty-five to thirty dollars. Well, maybe thirty-two after some tax and shipping. So they're about the same price. Um, they stand obviously a little bit different. Um, the GW Toys body is a little bit shorter. He's a little bit stockier, a little bit more, more, more muscular. Um, but uh, the articulation for the Zero body is head and shoulders, I think, above what a uh, what a lot of different a lot of different f figures, manufacturers in general has made. Uh, the amount of poses that you get for this guy is phenomenal. Uh, this guy can do s a lot of the same poses, you know, right off the right off the bat. But it's just it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't hit the same way. It just doesn't look as natural. He looks a little bit more robotic, more static, more mannequin-y, you know. Whereas this guy looks like he's like a real <laughs> almost almost like a real human being. It's it's a it, a lot of the. Uh, let me see if I can. It just looks very very natural. Very kind of realistic. Uh, this guy here, he can do everything he can do. He can do everything he can do, but just not. Uh, just doesn't feel as. Uh, uh, doesn't doesn't look. And when you're when you're playing with them in hand doesn't feel as 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 natural he's more of a um even though the zero body is taller by a lot yeah let me just do a quick measurement of the zero let me straighten him out even though the zero body is taller right he's a little bit skinnier and he's about what do you call that what would you call that there Three quarters, six and three. No, is that six and a half? No, that's six and a half. Okay. He's a little bit. He's he's a little bit taller than six and a half. Yeah, he's a little bit taller than six and a half. Whereas the G zero one body, the G zero zero one body. Excuse me. He's a lot shorter. At he's about six and a quarter. Maybe a little bit more than six and a quarter. Yeah, so it's about a quarter of an inch to uh, 0.3 inches difference. Three-tenths of an inch difference. Which, you know, doesn't sound like a lot, but in action figure terms, that comes out to be huge. Um, but the, I don't know if it's the irony, but even though he's bigger, the zero body's bigger, he can hit more fluid, more Spider-Man-esque poses. more acrobatic looking poses and this guy the G001 he's more of like a like a like a st static sort of like a superman he would be make a, he'd make a great cuz of his cuz his 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 musculature and his his body uh, type and stockiness he he'd make a better i think superman figure although as a Superman, he's a little bit too short, but you can—he definitely—he comes with um, some uh, 
some uh, some 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 accessories that you could switch out. Uh, and I do want to point out that he comes with boots, but the boots are flesh color. <laughs> it's flesh toned boots. I guess they're expecting us to paint it, but I mean, you know, just make it black, right? I don't know. But if you were to pop the uh, the boots on, oh, I can't even do it on camera. Uh, it would definitely give him uh, a lot more height. So I think with the boots, they'd probably be about the same height. Okay. Anyway, let's get to the uh, let's get the articulation. So for the head articulation, head and neck, uh, he's got two points in the neck, upper, lower. But for the upper neck articulation, there's no there's no upward movement. That that's as far up as he can look. In fact, that's as far up up as he can look in general with both upper and lower articulation combined mainly because of I guess the, uh, the sculpt the back the base of the skull it's just not allowing him to look any further up as opposed to the zero body I hate to this is not a review of the zero body but I'm just saying I just got to compare the two because this guy is my my gold standard he can look that far up this guy can look that far up so all right not a lot for the G001. Uh, he can look down. Isolating just the top of the neck, he can look down that much. Isolating the bottom of the neck, he can look down not that far at all. Yeah, the, 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 the bottom neck articulation doesn't really move at all. I don't even know why it's there, but maybe just a, a tiny bit, and that's as far down as he can look. All right? No butterfly joints. Uh, here's his T pose. <laughs> kind of hit a Y. He's got bicep swivel. It's very tight, but it does go all the way around. The shoulders go all the way around. We know how that works. He's got very thick arms. The the bicep and the and the musculature of his forearms are such that he uh, can't even really get that far much past 90 all right so if, like if we call that 90 what's that like 40 no, I mean sorry 40 80, 87 85 so he could pretty much just get a little bit past 90 degrees for his um for his bicep arm bend and he is, there is double jointed elbows so, all right um he does have uh, the a very standard and familiar wrist hinge and peg, and knowing that you know you can go down and up, uh, left and right, um, and the range is uh, it's it's decent. It's decent, all right. As opposed to if you look at the the zero can go all the way down like this. The zero body can go all the way up. And he can go all the way side to side. So the uh, the range, again, is not as good on the GW, GW, the G001 as the zero body. The ab crunch, okay, there's a two points of articulation, one in the lower waist, one of the uh, upper diaphragm, and isolating the just the, 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 the top of the abdomen, he can go down that far. So that's a good amount, and he can extend his back that far. The, uh, the sculpt does hinder a lot of the back extension for the upper ab joint. Isolating for the lower ab joint, he can bend forward, crunch forward. Uh, not that far down. I, I would say that's as far down as he can go. And he can extend his back a lot more. And utilizing both upper and lower ab joints, he can crunch th that far. And he can extend that far. Okay? To the hips, to the hips. Okay, he can kick forward that far up. 
again, um, I'm telling you right now what I'm, I'm feeling is that that um, muscle right there, that, that part of the, the upper thigh is hitting the crotch piece. It's hitting the, the, the bikini part, and it's just not allowing him to kick any further up than that. So it's not even really uh, 90 degrees. Uh, he can go kick back that far. As you can see, that's it. Here's his split. He can split really well. That's one thing he can do. And his uh, Glenn Webb split. Farthest he can go down with both feet flat on the floor. There you go. Not bad. That's good stuff. Double jointed knees, he can go up that far, not quite to the back of the butt, but but good enough. There is uh, ankle articulation similar to the wrist. You got the double, you got the, the, the peg with the ball joint, and he get a lot of range of motion. Um, he can kick, not kick, he can point his toes that far down. So if you were to do the ballerina, there you go. Like if that's good for flights, flight pose. That's very good. Uh, swim form. I don't know. For those of you who swim, I'm sure your swim instructors have always told you: toes pointed, knees straight, kick, kick. So he can make a good Aquaman. Hey, he could make a good Aquaman. That's right. Okay. Um, he can point his toes up, not that far up. So. If that's 90, right, he can always go up that far, up. But he can point his toes down a good amount. So there you go. Uh, who is this for? Well, I'm working on a sort of a, um, a Mezco style soft goods Punisher uh, figure with the, um, from the Netflix figure with the, with the John Bernthal head. And, um... I'll, uh, I'll, I'll put it on now and see how it works. Pause right there. All right, we're back after a whew, more than a half hour hiatus. Putting together uh, this, uh, this, 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 um, some soft goods I bought off of eBay. Uh, the pants, sweatpants, sweatshirt. I bought a decal. This is the extra head of the Mezco Netflix John Bernthal Punisher that I had just lying around. Um, always felt that it was um, such a shame that it was such a nice, beautifully sculpted head it just sitting in the box. So I always wanted to sort of put together my own little uh, custom Punisher figure. And I thought that the G001 body would be perfect. So it's not too tall. It's about this uh, 5'10", 5'11", John Bernthal. So as you see, it's um, not... Not 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 gonna be uh, not gonna be towering towering over other other figures, and uh, and it works. You can hold his gun. Here, this is uh, some just a machine gun I have lying around. And uh, yeah, there you go. My own little uh, casual a casual Punisher a casual John Bernthal Punisher in sweats. There you go. How do you like that? Not bad. Again, this is on the G001 body by GW Toys uh, with the Mezco Netflix Punisher head. And uh, yeah, it worked out pretty well. Cool beans. All right. Thanks, guys.